What up, what up, it's your boy coming back with another video. Listen, I really don't drink how I used to drink, but if you're not drinking this pomegranate, I don't even see it, German beer, they got pomegranate, they got grapefruit, she is off the hook. And the reason why I got this, because it, it doesn't have too much alcohol in it, like 2.5%, try to lower down my alcohol consumption. Anyways, hopefully everybody's doing great. So today what I want to talk about is um, what's going on in this world today. Everybody's been watching the Will Smith and Chris Rock. I didn't want to make a video on it because everybody else was making a video. But I know that's the time to make the video. So um, Chris Rock and Will Smith. Everybody heard the slap going around the world and stuff like that. My opinion on the whole Chris Rock and Will Smith is that that was some sucker shit. Some sucker shit. As a male who grew up in a single mom household, believing that you have to treat women differently, even though I respect them, but you can't be too nice because they take advantage of you. Um, you can't be a simp because they'll take advantage of you. You have to be, the way to be alpha, you have to be strong because as you can see, people will start taking advantage of you, especially women. And these days, the way women work it depends how much cash you got now these days. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about Will Smith and Chris Rock. His wife, Chris Rock, made fun of Will Smith's uh, wife. He was laughing in the beginning. Then he looked to the side. He seen that she was mad. So he went up on stage, which I keep watching. I don't know if it's fake. I don't know if it's real. But at the end of the day, the whole thing is he smacked him. If it's fake or real, at the end of the day, it perceived that he got slapped. And for Will Smith, made him look like a sucker. That's the wrong shit to do. Um, Chris Rock, a legend in the game. Anybody can get smacked, but he had no reason to get smacked. Comedy is comedy. And I know if you're in a relationship with your wife or whatever like that, and you go to a, a, a comedy show, you got to understand it's a show. It's comedy. People going to make fun of you. People are going to do this. People are going to talk about you. So that's why at the end of the day, I think that was a sucker move by... by by Will Smith. Um, hopefully, Karma is a bitch. Hopefully, it comes back on him just to learn his his um, just to learn his lesson. He can say all this, and and you know, in Hollywood, and you can hear everything that's going on with Will Smith and stuff like that. You hear all the stuff that him and Jada stuff was doing behind closed walls. So all that swinging stuff, allegedly, because I don't want to get sued, and I don't think they're gonna watch this video anyways. But um, yeah, that's my opinion on that Will Smith and Chris Rock. See what happens. See what happens to Chris Rock later on. Because at the end of the day, that slap is going to be talked about forever, for a long time, for years and years and years. Every year during the Grammys, what they're going to talk about the Chris Rock and Will Smith. During the Grammys. During this. During that. It is what it is. Um, I disapprove of what Will Smith did. Trash. And then his kids got online. Uh, what's his name? Jaden. Talking about Jaden needs to get slapped too. Hopefully Jaden gets slapped. Somebody needs to slap Jaden. And that's not no hate speech. Just stop talking, man. People, you're young, you're a kid. Stop talking. Because you, you, all the family that Chris Rock got, you meet with the wrong people. You're at the wrong place at the wrong time. Hollywood is small. They're going to see you one day. So it is what it is. I just wanted to make a quick video to reflect on life and what's going on. Life is short. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because it is. Even the longest life is short. The longest life. And, and most people, you halfway to death is, what, 80, 75 years old, I think, something like that? 79, between 75 and 80 is, is, is for most people, the, the death rate, uh, the death birthday. <laughs> um, well, the day that you're going to die. So, it is what it is. That That's what's going to happen. We're all going to die one day. So, li enjoy, live life and push hard. Push hard, do as much shit as you can, do as much stuff as you can because you are going to die. You are not going to live forever, you are going to die. Push, push. Get yourself in the best shape in your life. Make the most money you can. Help the most people. Do not get disrespected no more by women or by anybody else around your circle. You don't have to fight everybody, but you do have to gain respect. That, that, how you say it, that timid, uh... Um, how you call it, introvert life is not going to get you anywhere in life. You can be an introvert, but in the long run, you have to 
put yourself out there and start talking to people and put yourself in a position where you can network. Network is the key to success. Who's in your network? Because um, if you're one of them people who didn't want more of those COVID vaccine cards and stuff like that and you didn't want, if you had a network that can get you one, you can go get one. But that's another story. I don't have one. I'm not vaccinated. And I don't have a vaccine card. It is what it is. If I don't have it, I don't have it. I live here in Florida. And Florida been doing it big over here in Florida. So can't complain. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Let's talk about what else we want to talk about. Health, wealth, knowledge, self. Um, let's talk about what I'm doing in life. Um, got some goals there. Got, I got to accomplish in the next year. Um, I want to make more YouTube videos. It's just that. Sometimes just dealing with people, dealing with everyday stuff, and then you watch other people's content, and you don't want to talk about the same thing everybody else is talking about. The whole vegan thing is, I, I, I got tired of that <laughs> content. Um, I had a whole list and list and list of stuff and talk about. It's not that you don't love it. It, just, it gets to the point where people are going to do what they're going to do. You, it, it became like a religion to some people. When I was, do, when I was into it in the 90s, and stuff like that. It was just dope people doing dope things. Now, just once people get a hold of that shit, they want to make it a religion. They want to put that content out. They want to bash, which I bashed people in, in, in before, but that bashing shit is not going to get you nowhere. Even though controversy sells, it's not going to get you anywhere. So don't do that controversial stuff. Um, man, just getting my life back together again as far as studying again. Um, seeing when I'm going in the next couple of months because there's some shit going on that um, I'm not going to talk about right now. Um, all I know is you're going you're gonna to have to have multiple streams of income because it is what it is. People um, working for other people is not the way to do it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Just wanted to make a short video and um, that's it. Peace.